critics. I am Antoine. I am starting a new segment on my channel. I am reviewing. I'm doing retro reviews on some movies that I grew up with that I cherish. This, uh, these are all old action movies from the early 90s. Now, I'm thinking about calling this action theater. I might change that. I might change that. But right now, this is action theater. And some of these movies, they came out like between the late 80s and early 90s. And they was uh, very much martial arts, uh, martial arts heavy action movies were with a very low budget and they went straight to they went straight to VHS um, tapes and I used to go to a video store and rent these all the time I used to bug my mother to rent uh, movies for me but then after a while when I got about like 12 or so she she just gave me the card put my name on her it's like here here go $20 do do whatever so I used to rent the movies every week I used to find a new action movie uh, to watch and you know and that was just part of my childhood and I, I, I grew up loving Loving these movies, they they real cheap, they low budget. The acting is horrible. The um, the set pieces are cheap. The the ADR is is horrible. Everything's bad, but it's a special charm to these, <laughs> and I love them. So the first movie that I watched was a movie called Super Fights. Uh, then this movie, <clears throat> now this movie came out in 1995, I believe, and so this was actually a little later. Then I used to watch this came yeah this came out a little later because I the ones I'm used to watch was from like 19 like 1990 to like 94 but this came out a little later and this was a um, this actually was uh, choreographed by the fighter that uh, it was choreographed by the fight choreographer um, on a, a Jackie Chan movie called The Drunken Master. Now that's a real, that's no, also a real good one. So I'm also gonna do old school kung fu movies. So uh, I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> so okay, this one is called Super Fight, and um, in this movie, <clears throat> now this movie was set up like kind of like a WWF thing. The Super Fights is, I'm sorry, WWE <laughs> for those. Movies. Now the Super Fights. Um, were a like a fight league where you got fighters and it's like uh, they was more like they was like pro wrestlers where they all had themes and then and then um, and your main character was just a fan that wanted to be a fighter and and instead of pro instead of wrestling they were doing really martial arts like in the ring setting and uh, <laughs> so this movie pick up where uh, your main character he was a he was a a real fanatic of this sport and it's uh, called Super Fights. His name, uh, the actor's name is Brandon Gaines. Now, I ain't seen him in too much. I looked him up. He was in um, uh, what movie was that? He was in uh, um, uh, the TV shows uh, uh, VR Troopers. He was in VR Troopers as one of the one of the guys. So he's a real good martial artist. Uh, not a big guy, kind of a small guy, but he's a good martial artist. Real agile. Like all the all the fight choreography was just off the chain. It was a great fight choreography in this movie. Um, so it was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny in the first in the early in the, on in the movie they show with the um, your main character uh, Jack Cody and he's in a crowd cheering on his uh, favorite fighters and of course <laughs> and of course in WWE in true WWE fashion the. Wow. Okay. Uh, um, somebody didn't tell him that this was not real, but <clears throat> so I thought that was just a funny, a funny ass moment. I didn't think he was actually gonna punch the guy. <laughs> and so moving on. So uh, they just the, the the beginning was to establish that your character is a fanatic and a big fan of um, of these super fights. So, uh, so you, you go. We fast forward to the character in his uh, everyday, um, his everyday routine. So he is he works at a warehouse, some kind of warehouse. And in, in, in his warehouse, I guess nobody watches him. Um, I guess he don't have a supervisor or something, because he set up all these, <laughs> he set up all these dummies and 
and and and contraction contraptions so he can train at work. So while he's at work, he's um, jumping around and kicking around and 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 doing splits and, and all kind of stuff in the warehouse while he's supposed to be working. <laughs> That's too funny, man. And it's uh, well, I guess he do got a boss or somebody's like, "Hey, wait, wait, get back to work." <laughs> like, okay, uh, didn't see him actually do no work. I just seen him playing around in the warehouse. <laughs> but he had a job, uh, believe it or not. It looked like he had a job, and he lived with his mother. This guy's a real winner. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> they try to set up that he was real, that he was young, but he wasn't in school. So I'm thinking he was old enough to be at least out of high school but he probably just didn't go to college i'm guessing he was around 20. uh so <laughs> so yeah you know so um so where this movie go from there he heads home to see his mom and then uh you know tell her that you know he's gonna be a, a super fighter one day and she says you won't you know your father wouldn't have wanted you to do that Jack. i know that this i don't want to do no i'm leaving no. And, you know, and of course, the mom is against it because she don't want him to get hurt. And rightfully so, because the guy is kind of an idiot. He probably can't. T <laughs> uh, don't look like he can really take care of himself. It just look like a kid with a dream. Or something. when his mom would tell him that she don't want him fighting, he get mad and run out the house. And this is where he goes driving in his old ass military Jeep. I don't know why he was driving that. <laughs> but uh, he... Um, he happens to see a girl getting attacked at the ATM. Now the girl that getting attacked at the ATM. I'm gone and you'll be all cut up. Hell <laughs> is usually an Asian female. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually some Asian and like an Asian chick and I'm, I'm, I'm like okay uh, this is right on point and, and I said to myself before the movie got even before I said I bet you she's gonna have some uh, Kung Fu uh, Kung Fu master grandfather or uncle and then she lives with sure enough <laughs> sure enough uh, he gets home uh, well let me let me go back he he helps the girl from getting she was getting mugged, so he jumped in like a uh, like a superhero and saved the girl. And when he took her home, he met her grandfather, her old wise grandfather, um, true Karate Kid fashion. But it was so bad because the grandfather had the fakest wig and, and beard, like he had a, a a a fake beard and a fake a fake mustache and a fake beard and a fake wig, and it looked horrible. You could have gotten her killed. They might not have stopped at money, Grandfather. You don't know that, do you? Gee, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't most relatives you thank someone wrong. for You are wrong. Don't speak and they're spoken to. <laughs> it looked like you had, they had glue on it. So uh, that's, this is how these movies work, you know. Um, the the main the main protagonist meets a girl and she uh, an Asian girl and her grand either her grandfather or uncle is a martial arts master and of course you know in true uh, kung fu movie fashion they get into not really a skirmish but he tells him uh, he tells he tells the dad that he tells the granddad that he's a fighter and then the granddad said <laughs> said okay. Well, if you manage to put your, if you manage to touch me one time, then I accept that you a fighter. But if you can't, then I know that you a fraud or whatever. So the whole time, they do a, a choreographed scene of a, a nice choreographed scene, kind of a gag scene where he's trying to touch him and he's doing flips and and uh, tai chi moves to stop him from touching him and stuff. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And of course, your main character, Jack, gets mad because he can't touch him and just leave, which I rightfully so because the granddad treated him like shit as soon as he came through the door. Uh, but you know, I guess it was just over, overprotective. So it's cool. So moving on, uh, not to mention the, the, the main Asian actress, bad. Pat, even though she didn't speak, I mean, even though you can tell she had a strong Chinese accent, she, the, but her expressions, everything was just off. It was, it was bad. It was bad. Just once, why can't he mind his own business and stay out of my life? Okay, so, yes. So, when your main character, Jack, go back, when, once he leaves the girl house and go back home, he finds a whole mob of reporters outside his house. Now he's not sure what's going on right now because he's thinking like, "What? What the hell? Something wrong with my mom or something?" Um, so he go in there and check on his mom, and they was like, uh, "She's like, I'm fine." Uh, on the TV, it said that you uh, saved somebody. So I guess the ATM camera caught him saving the girl, and they um, and uh, and so now he's a hero. All of a sudden, you know, um, uh, just. Stopping a mug and makes you a worldwide hero now. <laughs> so I mean, it, it, you know, it was good. He did stop a mug and, and they did attack him with a knife. And so now he's a hero. And now he's a hero. And now he um can uh now he's got a little celebrity status and so this brings in your villain your villain seen this on tv and said hey we can use this as a you know as a way to set up some uh, some super fights which is a true promoter fashion if you got already got some clout this they they'll use that with the so this guy's pretty much Vince McMahon. <laughs> this villain looks like Vince McMahon and pretty much is Vince McMahon. <laughs> Lonnie, get me Jack Cody, he's on Channel 8 right now. Set up a meeting here tomorrow. Oh, and Lonnie, make sure he comes alone. No agents, no lawyers. Thanks. Another American hero. Perfect. Now, um, now he's a, a basically a worldwide hero. He's more like a local hero. And, um, and you know, he so he go out to reporters and, you know, he talk to them and now everybody likes him. So now he's feeling himself. He's feeling good. He's feeling like a hero. So now, oh my God, this movie they did, they get, they get, had him go out for a jog and everybody's like, hey, you a hero. And you know, and, <laughs> and you got people that, uh, that's greeting him in the street while he's jogging. He's, he's run. This dude runs so funny. It's like he couldn't even run regular. This guy was so extra. And so it was kind of like a scene from Rocky. It basically was lifted from the scene from Rocky when he was doing his run. And oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay, come think about it. I think they did a freeze frame on Rocky when he did that. So there was a direct copy of Rocky, um, the Rocky training montage. But okay, so moving on, uh, moving on, the the Vince Man evil villain character contacts um, Jack and try to uh, and ask him, do he want to fight for him? And so before you know, before he go into the office, Jack meets some of the other fighters. And it's it's so funny. The fighters are in character even out of the ring. <laughs> they even got they they fighting clothes on. So they coming out the, the boss office like they just had a, a, a meeting or something and they got their fighting clothes on. Let me introduce you to some friends of mine. Hey, I remember you. Welcome to the team, man. You're my hero now, Jack. Jack, Jack. The name's Dark Cloud, but you can call me Chuck. Can I call you Jack? Yeah. yeah good strong name. I'll show you that later. I'll teach you that later. I'm Cliff, better known as Night Stalker. It's an honor to shake your hand, Mr. Cody. Honor. Oh, come on, you got- <laughs> I'm like, really, dude? <laughs> they made it clear that this is a business and these fights are not real. This is like WWE. So why are they still acting like they fighters? Why are they still acting like they're characters? I don't know. <laughs> so, 
So your boy Jack going to meet the uh, meet the uh, fight promoter, the fake Vince McMahon character, and he like, I think his name was Scott something, and he was like, uh, you know, I want to give you, a, I want to sign you as a fighter, and oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> where they get this guy from? Brandon Gaines, when he <clears throat> when he was trying to accept, when he was negotiating um, an offer with. Um, with the fake Vincent Man character, this was the funniest shit, dude. <laughs> I'ma just let you see it. I can't explain it. <laughs> I wanna make you a super fighter. Is that something you would like? Is that something I would like? I kill to be a super fighter! Like Night Stalker and a snoot and Budokai! Blah blah! blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm not asking for that yet. All I want to do is make you an offer. Ah! Oh, yes. The answer is yes. So now your boy Jake is a super fighter. Your boy Jake, um, wrote, I mean, not Jake, I'm sorry. Jack, Jack is a super fighter now. And uh, he signed a contract. And you know you know, this is going to come back to bite him later because uh, he didn't read it. So, um, all right, so after now he's a super fighter. So this is where you meet Angel. Now this is played by Kelly Gallant, I think her name is, and she is kind of like she kind of like China almost. She's she's very ripped, uh, fitness person, a fitness martial art female fighter. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> and uh, she got kind of like that chin, that kind of China chin almost, but. She's still more feminine than China, like she was before China had all the plastic surgery done. But she, um, she is like real fit and and, and ah, shit, she's sexy to me. But her arms are jacked, so <laughs> that's uh, her legs are off the chain, but her arms are a little too jacked. But I mean, um, this is um, your main henchman's main uh, girl that put in work for him. and. <laughs> and of course they had to do some sexy shots it was so bad the sex the, the the misogyny here was so bad that they took shots that there wasn't even like she wasn't even standing in that position and then they showed those shots so they showed her cleavage of course but she was standing in a different position and then they showed her standing um um bending down showing her cleavage like wait a minute you was just standing up so the next shot, she's standing straight up. I'm like, what, 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 what the hell? <laughs> I think you've got great potential. And with a little hard training, you could be a great super fighter. I can't wait. So Angel is the person that's going to be training uh, Jack, so he can be a more elite super fighter. <clears throat> so, and this is um, some of the parts where the movie shine too, because. Um, the training montage was actually pretty good, and I, like I said, the, the guy Brandon Gaines is not a great actor at all, but he was a, he's a pretty good martial artist, and he's very agile, and he look, he can do any move you probably need him to do for as all the um, <clears throat> for as all the scenes. So uh, this this they start this little training montage, which is it's kind of funny how they started because they train in facilities kind of like kind of futuristic looking almost. <laughs> Where they like punch into the smoke and then and then they had the computer just read his uh, how fast he is and how strong he a punch and all that. Which Straight punch. Punch into the light for five seconds. Spinning hook. Round house. Punch kick. Left hook. Right jab. Left uppercut. Not bad. Totally fake, of course, and they just kind of made it up. This little futuristic kind of training. Um, so, I mean, I, 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 I thought that was corny, but then, you know, the, the training montage was actually good because they had. So now uh, he's training with Angel, and they show some good, some good um, uh, fight montages. And you, you know, you gotta get into your music. And they have a. This movie actually got its own theme song. It's called Super Fighter. And in the Super Fighter song, it has sound effects of like Bruce Lee and and, and like the what the hell sound effect. And it's got sound effects of people grunting and stuff. It's 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 hilarious.
<laughs> so, um, so from this point on, now, uh, oh, and let's not forget, they gave him some mysterious pills and said they. What are these vitamins special for super fighters? I don't like pills. They're vitamins, Jack. Take them. So, okay, so the training is all done, and now. Um, they believe Jack is ready to be a super fighter. So now Jack is uh, going out for his first fight. He's a little nervous, and the outfit sucks. <laughs> so I don't know. I, don't, I think his name, his his theme was because like in WWE, in WWE, everybody's got a theme. So his theme is the All American or something. So he has his uh, stars and stripes outfit, and it looks horrible. He has a uh, <laughs> spandex pants, one side blue. One side is uh, the stars, I believe, and then you got stripes, gi top. So you got a spandex pants and a, a karate gi top with with boxing shoes. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so he get out there he he beats the guy ass and uh and now jack is getting getting good so they now we got another montage we got a montage of jack fighting his way up through the ranks and fighting all these fights and uh and the super fighters um tournaments and he's beating everybody and 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 he's getting a real big fan following and they uh Now Jack is a fighter, and he is one of the top fighters in the uh, the super fighter uh, super fighter tournaments. And and then now he's uh, he's beating everybody. So Jack is starting to get a little suspicious because people just going down way too easy. The fights are just too easy. Did you think that fight tonight went off too fast? I, mean, I barely hit that guy, and he went down. You were great, Jack. Yeah, but was I great? Am I that good? Don't ask me. I'm not exactly impartial. Yeah, but do you think maybe they're taking it easy on me because I'm new? Um, uh, Jack is, you know, doing his, he's still, he exercising, and then he get attacked by, um, and he gets attacked by a, uh, ma a guy in a mask looking like a ninja. Out of nowhere, where'd this guy come from? <laughs> Robert's not just a promoter, and you're not just a fighter. It goes way beyond that. Illegal death matches, fixing fights, gambling, drugs, organized crime, murder. He's into it all. You've got to get out where you can. I haven't seen any of that! Not yet, but you will. You're a product, and once you're the fighter he wants you to be, you'll become a killer too, like the Red. I won those fights! We both know you didn't. So now Jack is wondering why the fuck what's going on so if that wasn't bad enough your sports um your your promoter your evil promoter fake vincent man character is got his fighters um doing racketeering and muscling on uh, all the games so they they are getting like you know the mob the mob and stuff they're getting protection money so they letting they basically letting the mob do their stuff, but they want a percentage of it. So now they doing more than just sports corruption. Now they doing street crime. Then <laughs> now they got the fighters doing street crime, which was uh, some of the most hilarious parts in the movie where my boy uh, <laughs> Chuck Jeffries is is talking like Eddie Murphy <laughs> and whooping ass. So. Coitus interrupt us, but I think you have something for we me. We had a meeting. Sure, shut up, please, please. 
Shut the hell up. I'll take this. And I'll take you. I don't know. I, I'm looking like okay. Sports corruption wasn't enough. Now they, they got to take over drugs and and prostitution and and all the kind of street crimes that's going on. Okay, so <laughs> so go back to your uh, main character, Jack. Jack found out that he's Faisal Fix, so now he feel like he ain't good. So he go to uh, see the the. He goes to see the Asian girl that he knew, uh, that he saved. Now, mind you, she had been coming to the fights, but they just been friends. So uh, she said, my grandfather can teach you something. And so when she meets, when he meets his grandfather, he, you know, uh, uses Tai Chi. Now, they do this a lot in these movies where one guy thinks he's good by using one style. Another guy enlightens him on another style. And it's usually something like Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> to have a powerful punch, your waist and legs must work together. So now Jack is learning new uh, fighting styles. So uh, he's taking those, he's taking some of his Tai Chi moves and he's using it in the super fights. And people start like, whoa, what's that? Man, this boy actually getting good for real. And so. So, uh, uh, before we move on, Vincent Man villain kind of came off as just a douchey um, businessman, uh, a douchey businessman CEO guy. But now, but now uh, they have to show that he's more villainous and more evil than just just a bad businessman. Uh, You're not getting starstruck, are you, Angel? You don't forget who trained you, Nice Stalker and Dark Clown, the others, do you? Good. Let yourself out. I have a meeting. Typical villain stuff. So, uh, <laughs> so, they also go so far as to have them deal with drugs. So, it's, rival gangs that they do drug deals with that they that the rival gang try to double cross them so they have to show how evil they was by not only beating them but they end up killing these guys and they in the most hilarious way please don't no this is what happens do you see please no no please no! No! No one steals from me. No one. Spread the word. Fear me. I guess this is what they mean when they say the shit hit the fan. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you know what? It was actually a little gory for this movie. I couldn't believe they actually went there, but they went there. Uh, so at, at this point, yo, yo, the villains and the bad guys are, are clearly established now. They are very evil. Jack is in over his head. And um, so this is where we at with the movie. So not and and earlier I mentioned that they had um, Jack take these pills and they and they they basically were steroids and they said, Oh, they're vitamins. <clears throat> so the fighters are all been acting weird. They all acting more mind they acting like they more mindless right now and the thing was the <laughs> the grandfather examined the pills and said hey don't take those those are uh, steroids and then they um and they also mind control pills what's that <laughs> apparently they got pills that, that control your minds i didn't know that but uh <laughs> so the fighters all been taking these pills and they all been getting a little more mindless and just pissed off for no reason so now
somebody and they can't take them down and it's because of the steroids they can, sometimes they make people fighters lose control so jack has to get out of this he is in over his head this is getting too crazy for him and jack gotta get out of this so so at this point jack is asked to take a dive the the Vincent Man fighter comes to him and tell him, "Hey, I'm gonna need you to lose tonight." <laughs> and of course, Jack refuses, but um, but he tells he tells the Vincent Man guy, "Yeah, I'm gonna do it." And since everybody was chanting his name, he was feeling it too much. He didn't do it. Now, this is the problem. This is where where he was in good with the with the with the bad guys with the uh, villain team and now he kind of messed up by not taking that dive so since he didn't take that dive the um he had to make it up to uh the Vincent man character i had such plans for you jack and now you've thrown them all away what do we do now well i could let you talk to your girlfriend and your mother but they're a little preoccupied right now let them go i don't think so i'm staging another cage fight in one hour and you're the main attraction. Show up alone or they're gone. Got that? Yeah. See you soon, Jack. I'll tell you what. I do like this villain because one thing about him is he, of course, he kidnapped uh, his mom. <laughs> he kidnapped his mom and girlfriend and said, look, come down here. All you got to do is fight me. And if you beat me, you get your gear and your mama back. Hey, that's respectable. <laughs> I like a main villain that's willing to do his own dirty work, okay? Uh, so, this brings your last fight scene, which is a, a well-choreographed fight. And the main villain is a karate champion uh, himself. Uh, the main villain is played by Keith Fatale. He is a actually a, a martial arts um, champion. He's a karate champion himself. And... Um, he, you know, he has a style based on kicks, and it's a pretty good fight scene. So you have a nice little fight scene with your boy uh, Brandon Gaines, Jack. And just like these movies, Jack had to use what he learned to actually beat him. Uh, they, the, you know, the blueprint is always the same. The 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 villain gets the best of the of the hero, and the hero remember his training and finally get enough strength to beat the villain. And uh, you know that's pretty much ha what happened, and then <laughs> and they went, and then everybody goes home happy. So on the whole, man, this movie was uh, a typical early '90s action beat 'em up movie, which is with your typical protagonist, and um, and these kind of movies I actually seen a lot. But this one, the fight choreography was so damn good that I ignored all the bad. Um, all the bad action and plot and so uh i get this movie this movie was epic man just because of the fight scenes the, i remember when i'm seeing this movie and being so impressed with the fight scenes that i don't care about everything else it's hard to really get these movies a rating because the movies are so cheap and badly acted and a lot of people a lot of these um a lot of these actors are not real actors you know a lot of these people are or stunt performers and fighters that they just gather up to make a movie. So I, I don't really judge them like I judge other actors. For as action movies, this was uh, up there with the best, man. Uh, the, the fight choreography was up there with some of the best fight choreography, uh, the fight choreograph scenes in some of the best movies. Um, but it's such a cheesy movie that you'll never see, hear it mentioned with that. <laughs> okay, so uh, that is my review 
discussion. That's my review on the Super Fighter. It's a great, fun ride. It's a very, very silly movie, but very, very fast-paced action oriented movie which most all these movies are so all right now uh thanks for checking out the video and vi stay tuned for some of my other videos i, I will be reviewing more action movies in action theater <laughs> all right or should i say action slash kung fu theater i ain't came up with the name yet <laughs> see ya